Our gallbladder and bile duct disorders can cause similar symptoms, but they have key differences. Let's break them down. Gallstones are formed from the supersaturation of bile, most commonly from cholesterol. Risk factors for the formation of gallstones include the five Fs, fat, female, 40, fertile, and those with a family history. Cholelithiasis refers to the presence of gallstones within the gallbladder. These are asymptomatic and do not cause a leukocytosis. Biliary colic refers to the gallstones temporarily blocking the cystic duct, causing acute intermittent right upper quadrant pain with associated nausea and vomiting, but without a fever. Cholecystitis refers to the inflammation of the gallbladder caused by a gallstone blocking the cystic duct. Unlike biliary colic, this causes severe, persistent right upper quadrant pain, nausea, vomiting, and a fever. On examination, the patient has right upper quadrant tenderness, also known as a Murphy's positive sign, and they have a leukocytosis. Cholidocolithiasis occurs when gallstones move into the common bile duct, causing a blockage. This can lead to jaundice in the absence of fever and a leukocytosis. Cholangitis is a serious infection of the bile ducts, usually caused by a blocked duct due to stones or other obstructions. Symptoms include a fever, jaundice, and severe abdominal pain, known as Charcot's triad. It can be further complicated with hypotension and a change in mental status, known as Raynaud's pentad. In summary, cholelithiasis refers to gallstones with no symptoms. Biliary colic refers to the temporary blockage of the cystic duct. Cholecystitis refers to an inflamed gallbladder resulting in severe right upper quadrant pain and a fever. Cholidocolithiasis refers to stones in the bile duct causing jaundice. Cholangitis is a medical emergency and refers to infection in the common bile duct leading to fever, jaundice and right upper quadrant pain. For more information, follow One Page Medicine on Instagram or visit the website at onepagemedicine.com.